We think in our religious way that we've been brought up that no, 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 anything we just imagine is wrong. While our imagination has been given by God to us. Imagination is one of the greatest keys to the prophetic. Please, I do not say the office of a prophet. I say to the prophetic. Imagination is one of the greatest keys given to a believer. To have a creativity. Meaning it is creativity that makes a person rich. That makes a person prosper. It was creativity and imagination that made Walt Disney see Disney World before it was there. It is the imagination that allows inventors to imagine something that has not yet been created. Imagination is the very essence and evidence that there's a world that is beyond this world. It is the evidence that there is a creator out there. Because if we can create and invent, someone had to create and invent us. And he'll show you how imagination is in the very first two verses of Scripture in the book of Genesis. How God's imagination was which brought you into this world. How Jesus went past the cross and endured the cross because of his imagination. Christians without an imagination are dead. When I'm with staff or when, I'm, when I see that somebody has no creativity, they're just doing just like they are told, you know, like a robot. It means there's no relationship with God. Some Christians throw their mind out, their imagination out, and they just become yes and no, yes and no, jump how high, yes, there, no, so this, and, uh, and, and doesn't matter. If the whole situation changed, they just do the same. They become what we call going through the motions. There's no heart. Like the word is saying, you stutter with your lips, but there's no heart. You speak and you do all these things, but there's no heart, Isaiah said. Imagination is one of the greatest tools that the enemy used for unbelievers to become rich and successful. And it is the greatest trick in the Bible that the enemy used to say it is evil for believers and to keep them in their poverty. When we say deliverance of your mind, I am not speaking of strongholds. I'm speaking of a lack of imagination that keeps Christians in their poverty. But those who have a relationship with God, He anoints their imagination. He sanctifies their imagination. And creativity comes out. When you spend time with God, you cannot help but be creative. You cannot help but to think of something new, to think of a new idea. So listen to this. He says, casting down vain imaginations. No, it should be casting down, as the New King James put it, vain arguments, reasonings. What is this reasonings? Reasons that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. What is the knowledge of God? You will prosper. You will be blessed. You will be healthy. And some thought comes up and says, no, God's will is not for you to prosper. Uh, this prosperity gospel. No, 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 no. Cast down vain arguments, vain dialogismos, reasonings that reasons against the supernatural power or the word and the will of God. Reasoning against what the word is saying. Reasoning, what are these people doing when they're getting and they're, Chris and they, and they, and they're criticizing always ministry? Please understand, the devil doesn't criticize or attack anything that is not successful.